Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, thank god. I like when things function and not when they randomly stop functioning the way that they typically do. I love it when the most predictable thing that mankind could invent, like technology, electronics, doesn't work con fucking consistently. Okay, I'm sorry. I need to... What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, maybe you were just a little stressed. Did I say that already? In like, a, a kind of like, uh, a deeper stress. Like... I don't know, maybe you're worried about something. Right, what's wrong? Right, right. Oh. Yeah, no, I mean, I use, I use Kratom, basically, for the same reason. I'm honestly, I'm thinking I should probably cut back. But it's kind of difficult. Like, it mostly helps, but it's also a drug, so... Why was there a bomb there? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, at least I haven't been getting nightmares, and when I do sleep, it's okay. But, like, I would like to remember the dreams I'm in, at least. Cranium? I said Kratom. Uh, is that a nickname? Are you talking about the Gunge? Oh shit. Navy? What the hell is that? Come, put me out of my misery. Impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? Kratom. A K K R A T O N. But yeah, it is. Yeah, it's a drug. I mean, I when I say drug, I always mean like. Don't let them take the president! Anything physical that substantially affects your psychology, your uh, state of mind. So like, Ready, tobacco, drug. Coffee, definitely drug. Um, I mean, certain ideology, drug. A dud. Maybe it's not like external as such, but in a sense it is. I don't say it in a bad way. I mean, I'm very pro-drug. If you could live without it, if you're balanced without it, hell yeah, man. Like, all the power to you, but... Today is another bad day. Today is a good day to die. Is there anyone here that can give me happiness? That's a pretty badass gun. Is this fucking Unreal Tournament? Oh shit, that's fucking awesome. Is that a real gun? Jesus. 
Imagine a portable railgun. I have not. Oh, I was supposed to look that up. Chubbis told me I should look it up. Well, let's do that later. I'm so sorry, my beauties. I'll I didn't file again. taxes because I just haven't started working until like now, so. I don't know if it's like the same like the first stimulus because I didn't get that one either. I mean, at least I have a job, but it would be nice to just get a one and a half K out of nowhere. Colonel, SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? But... There's no time for questions. They could decide to retaliate for that failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire too, it's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, snap out of it. And you, Rose. I can't believe you're on this mission. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. What the fuck? Thank you, Rose. And I won't let you be just a dream. Huh? Are you two done? What does that mean? You're needed on Strut C. What the fuck? Right as old bitch. Um, but alright. Another fucking thing I gotta do, I guess. I've been pretty resistant to, like, fucking doing all this extra shit, like, axes again, and fucking art shit. All this extra shit which has been stressing me out, it's just, because, like, I don't have the time. I don't even have time to play this, like, I have 50 minutes now, and then I have to go back to work, and then I have lost sleep. And then, you know, I just chill. And then if I want to do anything, I have to force it, force it, force it. And then, okay, more free time? Okay, spend on this other shit. Like, and it's, I, I can't even, everything goes wrong. Like, literally, everything goes wrong. Ah, pisses me off. Like, okay, fall taxes? No, you have to do all of this extra shit. Which you probably can't finish in one go, and that's what I'm hating. I don't know why. I just don't have faith in, like, fucking anything to be what it says it is, and yet it demands all of my time. And which is why I'm putting it off, because at least it's not urgent. And then it's just... Yeah, okay, see, so now I'm going off. Yeah, but, I mean, that's, I don't know. See, like, that would be, that would make more sense to me if, if, like, I was around a lot of people that were having this, like, average life, but, you know, 
it just seems kind of like a like okay you're forced to live this way and like what i can make jokes about it i can feel similar to other people And that's kind of what it is, is that I, like, I don't have any more individuality. All I am is just another fucking bag of flesh. I have no uniqueness to the world or even to myself, really. And I'm like, that's why I'm, like, so fucking down. It's just, what can I do? Even if I, even if I did every single one of my goals, I would still be mediocre and a nobody. I wouldn't, it wouldn't feel any different to myself. So it's just, yeah, it's, uh, it's depressing and it's frustrating and I'm just trying to worry about like, you know, just being a little bit healthier, stepping back, just, you know, fuck, fuck all that shit, just fuck it, fuck it. I will do what I need to do, I will do what I want to do in my time when I want to do it. And then at least I can be comfortable with using my time like that. And that's all I got. That's all I got. Oh, wait. This is where I just was. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. I mean... I'm glad you... You think so, and I'm glad that I do have some friends. I am honestly not as grateful as I should be. Still. It's just kind of like... It feels really bad to just not have faith in like a future self, like... I just don't know what I'm doing. I shouldn't rant too much. There are so many pictures of these. Yeah, I gotta chill, man. I only have like an hour. Right? Shouldn't be freaking myself out. PD. I came in with the Bravo team. Who are you with? And what happened to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. Did I tell you you could move? It's all right. He's not one of the bad guys. Let's skin. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. I'm lecturer at Nav Scoliot, Indian Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. I did. Can't keep up with everybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me. With too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. I didn't such a turd. Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. 
Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students, the Emperor of Explosives, Fat Man. He built an atomic bomb when he was only 10. Oh. I created him in a sense. What? How do you? And that's why you're here. You can't. What? I'm pretty rusty. Oh, he just I created an atomic bomb because he's so smart. Time. Looks like it was taken care of before <laughs> I had my. Okay. Turn. I wouldn't say that. So smart that he could fucking there invade a uranium mining can claim to be in processing bombs. facility. Are you two with SEAL Team Ten? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Raiden. That's an odd name. Any other survivors? There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? A skinny guy. He's been with us. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think so. I didn't find his body. Sorry. Had to animate They up. told me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yup, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off to confer with the CO again. Glad to hear Stillman is safe. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Colonel, you know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his directions. You will, of course, keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel, I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You haven't had bomb disposal training per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. This is a C4 bomb. It's live. You can see it pulsing. Now you spray this on the sucker and... There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's enough time. If we had the manpower, I'd recommend complete disposal. But this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link-up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated and keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also picks up that particular scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules except his own. And he followed them like a religion. And common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. 
fact, I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. Yeah. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out of the enemy's sight, too. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on shell one, another six on shell two. A total of 12 bombs at least. Considering the shell's architecture and composition from an engineering standpoint, that's my conclusion. And it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of shell two. Take this. Hello. What's this? Security card issued to shell personnel. The big shell security layout includes varying levels. I said low because it looks like it's spells The level was identified by the number printed on these doors. Secure the jug. Right, your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You needed to get next door to shell two. How did you get this? That engineer I told you about gave it to me. He was supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan just in case. In case of what? Good luck to both of you. <laughs> this is a dangerous one. Who dares wins. If anything comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. Semper Fi. <laughs> He's just shitting out these quotes. That man's no seal. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Simplify. Marine Corps talk. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And Who Dares Wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he one of the terrorists, then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, 
I'd put my money on you. Owned. I'm right in. Just take care of those right in. for now. Alright, I like this game, but please can I play? They could be back in this area soon. Oh, I shouldn't get too testy, it's just like I get like two big fucking cutscenes per stream. I'll hide out for an hour. For a while. If I lock the door, it should be yeah, it's whatever. Plenty of food in here too, so you No, I love the plot, here. don't get me wrong. I'll give you It's just like last night. About the time that I stopped, I decided to play a little further, and it was like a fucking twenty-minute cutscene. No joke. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. Fear is a mind killer. That was actually the best part. Hey, dirt. The best part of Dune was the litany against fear. That shit is legit. Like, that shit is definitely, like, absolutely legendary tier, and I would recommend everyone read it. It's pretty short. Uh, of course, I don't remember. It's like, uh, and just look up Fear is a Mind Killer. It did come from Dune, unless it didn't. Is it? Okay, I still want to watch the film. Oh shit, yeah, Chubbis. I was gonna watch some, some shit with Chubbis on Friday. Did I say? Did I bring up Dune? Maybe I did bring up Dune. There's, there's a few things that we have to watch. Promari, the last episode of Evangelion. And I kind of want to see the Dune movie. I saw some clips and it looks okay. It looks, it looks like it would be decent. I don't, I'm just curious how it's adapted. I don't actually... And that David Lynch is doing it. That's interesting to me. I haven't watched enough Lynch movies, but I love... Uh, I love what he goes for. There's like a... Uh, I don't know. There's something right about it. Like something correct about that type of artist artistry. I don't know how to say it. I, I maybe let's, I just say I like it. Oh shit! What the fuck? Hey hey hey! As long as you don't talk about the last episode then you can then whatever okay it's gotta be sharp on the spoilers okay. whoops right in here i took care of the c4 in strut c the ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow <sighs> that's not like him anything wrong maybe pliskins reported other locations too and none of them are effective demolition points. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems huh. that way. So far, we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. All right, fair enough. Um, I did like, actually... The way that Shinji got kind of sucked into the Evangelion, like that kind of symbiosis thing, and the way that Rei is already connected. And like, yeah, I, I mean, obviously I don't understand it all. But, uh, there's something kind of interesting about him, like, getting really close to Rei. And, but never really understanding her. I guess because I like that type of character that Rey is. Because she's like very silent. Um, but like actually diving into that silent, like a non-verbal silence. That's my shit. A fucking... I love acknowledging that. And uh, attempts to illustrate that type of mind state. Anyway, uh, 
Hey, Quizzy. Um. Uh, I, uh, about Mecha, I haven't actually seen that many. Uh, before I watched Evangelion, though, I watched Gundam. The first Gundam. And, uh... There's somebody there. What? It's the enemy. I need help. Oh my god. Oh, dude, that is a lot of dudes, dude. How does that not hurt them? What the fuck? How did they know? Oh my god, they're everywhere. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I watched the first Gundam series. And it was decent. I did- I did appreciate it. Um, but... It did drag on after, like, the first... Half of the series. I do like the- I do like kind of, like, big setting political dramas like that. Um... I don't mind like a little bit less character development, as long as the characters aren't too flat, I think it's fine. But again, I haven't seen that many. Is your sign? Shit. Wow, that's a shitty thing. You gotta be fucking kidding me, my dude. Oh, <laughs> it didn't actually matter. Who's there? Uh oh. What's that? Okay. The angle, though. Excuse me? Oh my god! I got him. Shut up! How am I supposed to draw? What's going on? Respond. Oh my god. I don't know how to draw. Tell me. You will be able to move left and right while hanging. You can use the capability move undetected. Press the action button again to climb up from hanging. And? What? Communications with Strut D have ceased. Carry out an investigation immediately. 
enemy and kill the site. Send additional personnel. Right. Are you all right? Answer me. Right. <laughs> Okay. It was all according to plan. No, I... Okay, I'm pretty sure you can do this. Nothing here. Yeah, there it is. Okay. I smelt it a mile away. Raiden, at your feet, there's a hatch for pipe or gauge maintenance. Face the hatch and push the action button to open it. There may be something you can use, so check the inside thoroughly. It's a boom! This is Raiden. Disposal of the C4 in strut D is complete. Explosives were planted on the maintenance hatch. This is all wrong. This is something only an amateur would do. What do you mean? All the bombs that have been found so far don't appear to be in the right kind of locations. And the quantity of explosives isn't sufficient either. Even Fat Man can make mistakes, right? No, there's something else going on here. Get a move on with the disposal, Raiden. I've got a bad feeling about this. Do you think it's a trap? I don't know, but I'm gonna tell Pliskin to watch his back too. Just hurry. Oops. Still getting used to these damn controls. Wait, what? I what? It's. Can I not? I can't. I can't. Okay. Okay. Who's there? Nothing here. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> um. I'm still getting used to these controls. Can I throw him overboard? Wait, what? What the fuck? Huh? Why is he dropping him immediately? Hmm. Okay, so I guess I just gotta go around and clear the bombas. Bombas. Jack, do you need to save? Never tell when a cutscene is gonna happen next. Always be Rose, alert. No comment. About? I've killed someone. Jack, it's a battlefield. My opponents are living, breathing human beings. This isn't like the VR training. They have bodies. They have had lives. 
I took all that away from them. But you've got no choice if you want to survive. And yet, maybe because of the VR training, I can't help but try and block out that reality. It's the only way I can manage to fight. Jack. What? I don't care what it takes, just as long as you come back alive. Do whatever it takes, please. Just come back in one piece. Okay. And that is how wars start. Remember, in all wars, all, uh, all nations think that they're the one who are defending themselves. Even if they are, they were imperialists. That's not true. It's more of a modern thing, really. But, yeah. You can kill! As long as you come back! Please, we must make war babies. Murder! What? Enemy sighted. Where? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> what the fuck? I was mid flip. Oh my god. These soldiers are a little bit smarter than the ones in Metal Gear 1. No. Yipe! Oh. oh, I can't do it. Oh, that's a lot of fucking dudes, my dudes. Oh, shit. No! Why? God damn it, man. What? Seriously? This is incredible. I kind of wish you didn't have to crawl. I don't know why, like maybe a squat type walk would be good. Nothing here. This is kind of annoying. Ooh, cardboard blocks. Who's there? Uh oh. No, dude. No, dude. No. Requesting backup unit. I'm a stealth man. Hmm? 
there's somebody there. Huh? Hmm? Who's there? Huh? We got one. Everyone, watch your back. Send the replacement guard for the area. Requesting backup unit. All right. Well, this is gonna be it. This is how long this cutscene takes. Puzzling. I saw a man dressed like a ninja just now. Ninja. It's the only way to describe it. A kind of cyborg ninja, complete with a sword. What? Are you hiding something from me? Olga, are you sure it wasn't an Arsenal Tengu? Don't be a fool. Think I wouldn't know the difference? I've never seen field gear like that ever. All right, we'll intensify patrols. Anything else? Actually, one more thing. You'll find it hard to believe, though. I saw a man hiding under a cardboard box. Where? On the connecting bridge to Shell 2. <sighs> so you believe me this time? I've seen someone use that box trick before. We'll lay a trap on the Shell 2 connecting bridge. Over and out, then. Freeze! You must be one of dead cell. Of course not. What a thing to say. Drop your gun! Not a chance. No, Olga's gotten better. I saw a female soldier, Russian. Must be Olga Gerlukovich. How do you know? Unlike you, I've been briefed. She's not a dead cell? No, she commands a Russian private army. They must be the ones patrolling the big shell. That's right. She's led the group ever since her old man, Colonel Gerlukovich, died. Watch yourself with her. She's a tough one. Okay. Well, at least I didn't have to do a boss fight. So hooray for that. Oh. What's that? Whoops! <laughs> I didn't know how the gun would still be equipped. It worked out though. So there is supposed to be a bomb. Ah, shit! No! Okay, so this was just a bait? Hmm. 
One more bomb diffused. There was one I managed to find only because I took a good look in first person view. You should try it too. Raiden, the roof of that strut is accessible. Check there as well. I did though, it's not there. These are both level five. Wait, can I not get it then? Realism. Hmm. Still says the bombs there. I guess I should just move on. I mean, it's not like. Yeah, I can just come back, I guess. Or what? What's up? Be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Who is this? Stealth equipped Claymore mines, invisible to the naked eye. Choose the mine detector. Identify yourself. Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? You mean from Shadow Moses? Mr. X, then. Mr. X now, is it? Why would it matter if I called you Deep Throat? Never mind about that. Why did you contact me? Let's just say I'm one of your fans. Colonel, someone calling himself Mr. X just contacted me. Do you know anything about it? No. And whoever it was, it wasn't a burst transmission. The transmission was sent from within the big shell. He called himself Deep Throat at first. Do you think... I caught that part too. But the possibility of it being true is none. Gray Fox was the one who used that alias in Shadow Moses, and he's dead. That was Gray Fox? Any trap? Could Didn't be. Know that. Exercise extreme caution. I guess I missed that plot. Uh, and I don't really have a, uh... Oh, wait, did I have... I didn't have this equipped. Oh, I'm fucking stupid. So it probably is back on the the Rufo. Let's go back. Unless it's not up here. Right, it has to be up here. There's nowhere else it could bleed. What the fuck? Yeah, there it is. There it is, my baby. I want it on any honey. No, I mean, it's, uh... It's pretty much what it is. Isn't, wasn't the original Deep Throat actually based off of the porn movie? Oh, there it is. I want to say that that's the case. I could be wrong though. What the fuck? How am I supposed to reach that? It keeps on like pushing me out. Yeah, yeah. I guess I just fire at it from here. But there is like a uh, porn movie around the same era that was called Deep Throat. I think it was considered like a legendary porn movie too. Anyway. Yeah, I just don't remember. I remember hearing that, or that there was some kind of connection, but it could have been that there wasn't a connection. Jack, do you remember the day we met? I bet. <laughs> busy right now, Rose. You're right, sorry. 
I do remember. It was right after I transferred to New York. There are all these tourists around you in front of the Federal Hall. A group of middle-aged Japanese ladies came up and asked me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. <laughs> we started arguing and I forgot all about the tourists. I was insisting that I was right and you were doing the same. The next thing we knew, the Japanese women had gone away and we ended up going to the Skyscraper Museum to see who had the better recall. We argued all the way to Battery Park. And for nothing. Since the museum was closed, we went our separate ways from the museum. And then I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence that we were actually working at the same place. That night we went up to the top of the Empire State. It was so beautiful. I could look down on the Chrysler building from 120 stories above ground. I felt overwhelmed. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning. Bunch of times? If it weren't for that coincidence, we wouldn't be together. What the I fuck? Know. I'm sorry, Jack. I'm taking up your time again. What? Take care. Oh. Saw so King Kong. King King Dong. <laughs> and Dong. Who's there? Ah shit. Nothing here. Hmm. What? Ah, oh, dick cheese. No. Enemy sight. Requesting backup unit. What? What's going on? Respond? There's somebody there. Communications for Strati have ceased. Carry out an investigation immediately. Wait, no. <laughs> it's the enemy. Okay, so I have to somehow get to the I other one them. without getting blown up. An intruder. I don't think they actually follow me. Here. Also, yeah, weird romantic relationship between Jack and Raiden. What? Oh, hi. Where? Huh? What? Where are these coming from? Oh my god. Oh, there's auto? So nerve-wracking to defuse a bomb. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, that was a stupid thing to say. Sorry. That's all right. It's just that I've never been trained in this stuff. You okay? Are you feeling well? I almost threw up a few times. Oh, Jack. But I'm okay. It's not like I'm in this alone. Oh, yeah, that's true. What do you think about when you're defusing those things? I don't think so much as remember. And I know that I need to resist that and keep my mind blank. I can't let myself be overwhelmed by the fear. So, am I a part of what you try not to remember? <sighs> I was just kidding, but I guess this isn't a good time for that. No, it is. And I do think about you. I'm trying to remember what's so special about April 30th. Any success? No, not yet. You need to stay alive so you can. Okay, that's a deal. 
That's, that's such a weird dynamic. Like, this is the driving dynamic of the plot so far. What the fuck? Oh shit. Alright, let's just, let's just fucking do it, my dude. This seems like the plan. Oh my god, I am totally gonna die. I somehow did not die. What? No! <laughs> I'm dead! Resets a dick peen. Uh, I should have known. Hmm? Who's there? Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. That's all level three. at a time like quickly oh shit let's just God, it's kind of hard to see what the fuck is happening, my dude. dude. Oh, right next to the porn mag. God, dick. No, this isn't happening. Jack, you have to answer me. Jack! Jack! Alright. Uh, I gotta stop, like, very quickly here. Shit, but I don't want to. The more I play this, the more I want to play it. What a conundrum. That's good. What? What? And you miscited. Oh, my God. And you miscited. Don't want to flip him, dude. You got me. Stay on lookout for the intruder. Understood. Reinforcements are on the way to Strut F. Intensify the level. All right, Morals. Yeah, I'm gonna go toward this bomb and see if I can't do it in like one minute. 
Ah, oh, shit. I got you. Send reinforcements. How are you supposed to get in there? Oh, wait, I see. Games are cheating. This is Raiden. I just finished disposing of the C4 in strut F. Found explosives on B1. Good work. Only one more left to go. This is Pliskin. Do you read me, Pete? I'm here. What's up? Raiden, you need to hear this too. I'm listening. I checked out the bottom of strut H for you, Pete. Wait, what's this about? I asked Pliskin to look around. Knowing Fat Man, I can't shake the feeling that all the bombs so far were just wrong. So did you find anything? Yeah, a hell of a lot of C4s packed into the bottom of the strut. Pete called it right. I knew he had the real thing up his sleeve. So all the other ones were dummies? No, they're a threat all right. But the detonation wouldn't be enough to destroy the entire shell. But the C4s Pliskin found would inflict serious structural damage. That's not the bad news either. These are sensor proof. What? New model, I guess. The ionization sensor can't detect them. The whole thing is sealed tight to prevent vapor leak, and there's no trace of that cologne signature. Pete, looks like he fooled you. Yes. But you managed to find the thing anyway. It was sheer luck. Bombs that are invisible to the sensor? Any ideas, Pete? Are there more out there? I will see for myself. You can't move fast enough. He's right. I can try the spray from a distance. Hold on. There's something not right about this one. I can feel it. Well, Pete, should I come back and get you? No, there's no need. Raiden, you have one left to go, correct? Right, except for those scentless ones. How about you, Pliskin? I have two left, not counting this one. Okay, it'll have to be me. I have the level four card that'll get me into shell two in any case. You'll never make it. With that bad leg of yours, they'll spot you for sure. That won't happen. I, I can walk just fine. I can even run. What do you mean? That bomb, five years ago, I messed up. Even with ah, my experience, I lost it. And a church was lost in the explosion. All those kids playing nearby too. These past five years, I've lived a lie. Lied? Yes, lied. I didn't lose my leg in the explosion. Uh, so many dead. All because of my mistake. All I could think about was hiding from the crime, shielding myself from the public outcry. What the fuck? I wanted people to be sorry for me, for my weakness. <sighs> I faked being a victim myself because I couldn't bear to face the families of the real victims. This is no prosthetic. Whoa, well, that was actually pretty good there. I hike over deserts. I lived my life so well I haven't even answered to myself for my sins. It was supposed to be a shield become a shroud instead I've killed my soul by playing the victim instead of protecting me it's made my life even more hellish what good can that do the victims I know I'm a coward hey Pete God forgive me I can walk with my own two feet and I need them to stop fat man his crimes are also mine one of omission and arrogance no one should teach the skills I taught him without a clear conscience. This is the only way I can defuse my own sins. <laughs> I get you, Pete. <laughs> that one's all yours. You got it, Raiden? I understand. Pete, I've taken care of guards in struts G and H of Shell 2. I wouldn't recommend you go into any of the other struts. I owe you one. I'll get back to freezing the baby bombs, then. You do that too, Raiden. I'm on it. I'll have the radio with me if you need to get in touch. Just don't ask for peg leg, Peter. 
He's gone for good. Ah, <laughs> uh, very good. Huh? The situation is normal. All clear. Nothing here. I shouldn't use this, but I really want to. Just a box. Save and then I gotta sub. What can I do for you, Jack? Please don't fucking do this whole fucking episode where I have to listen to you for five minutes. Please. I I'm, can't believe it. I'm begging you. No. Aesthetic leg was all a big lie. Don't be too hard on him, Rose. But he's got no right to go around pretending he's got a prosthetic leg. That's an insult to people who really can't walk. Everyone's got their own reasons. Sometimes, you've got no choice but to lie. You're right. I, I guess it is necessary sometimes. Rose? It's nothing. Well, see ya. Oh! Uh oh! Return to your positions. Increase security. Rose cheated on right and Rose cheated on right. Oh. Who's there? Huh? What was that just now? Huh? What's that? Who's that? What's that? Huh? I got him. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Claymore didn't explode. Right. right, come in. Right, right. All right, that's it for me. I gotta go to sleep now. And I wish I didn't stream so late, but that's what it is. I I do gotta pass out though. Thanks for joining. It's fun as always. I will be continuing this Ikaruga and Metal Gear Solid Two uh, throughout the week. I'm. It looks like I'm sticking to Ikaruga. Uh, I, I want to actually keep playing, so that's good. Um, I can, I'm starting to learn normal, and uh, I gotta clean up easy, but yeah. And this game's great. I mean, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot more guards in this, like per area. Yeah, yeah, no, I can't wait. Alright, take care. Have a good hump day. Try not to hump too much. And uh, no host, um, because I just gotta, I gotta go. All right, see you next time. Uh, schedule is down. If you want to check, I'm sure you guys know by now. Oh uh, yeah, at least I have a consistent schedule. All right, blah blah blah. Bye bye bye.